In part A of this experiment, we will be performing a semi-microscale crystallization of impure sulfonilamide using an Erlenmeyer flask and a Hirsch funnel. The first thing we need to do is weigh out 0.3 grams of impure sulfonilamide. Note the color of our impure sulfonilamide and transfer to a 10 mil Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of our impure sulfonilamide is 0 0.3005 grams. We've added our sulfonilamide to a 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We'll now add six milliliters of 95% ethanol to another 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We'll also add a boiling stone to our 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with our 95% ethanol. And we'll bring our 95% ethanol to a boil on a warm hot plate. As we wait for our 95% ethanol to come to a boil, I want to briefly describe the procedure we will be using to dissolve our impure sulfonilamide. Once our 95% ethanol has come to a boil, we will transfer a very small amount using a pasture pipette to our 10 mil Erlenmeyer flask with our impure sulfonilamide. And once we have some 95% ethanol in here, we can set it on the hot plate and allow the solvent to come to a boil. We don't want to put the impure sulfonilamide by itself without solvent on the hot plate because it could potentially melt and form an oil. Once our impure sulfonilamide and the 95% ethanol have come to a boil in this 10 mil Erlenmeyer flask, we will transfer a very small amount of our boiling 95% ethanol to our Erlenmeyer flask with our impure sulfonilamide and swirl until all of our impure sulfonilamide has dissolved in the minimum amount of 95% ethanol. Our 95% ethanol is now boiling, so we'll begin the process of dissolving our impure sulfonilamide. Our impure sulfonilamide has now completely dissolved, so we will remove the flask from the heat and allow the flask to cool to room temperature. We'll also stopper our flask. Once it appears that no further crystallization is appearing at room temperature, we'll take our flask and place it in an ice bath and allow crystallization to complete. At this point, our crystallization has completed in the ice bath, and we're now gonna collect our crystals using vacuum filtration and a Hirsch funnel. And this is our Hirsch funnel, and you can see there's some holes in the bottom of the Hirsch funnel. And we're gonna place a small piece of filter paper over those holes at the bottom of the Hirsch funnel. And then we can place our Hirsch funnel back on top of our filtration apparatus. We'll now remove our crystals in our 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask from our ice bath dry our flask, remove the stopper, and we're gonna use a micro spatula to dislodge those crystals in the bottom of our flask. Once our crystals have been dislodged, we wanna make sure we wet our filter paper in our Hirsch funnel with a few drops of 95% ethanol. And so I have some ice cold 95% ethanol in this 10 mil Erlenmeyer flask here. So we'll place a few drops of ice cold 95% ethanol 
ethanol covering our filter paper in our Hirsch funnel and we'll turn on our vacuum. We'll then transfer our crystals to the Hirsch funnel with our filter paper while the vacuum is running. And to make sure we collect all of our crystals from our Erlenmeyer flask, we'll use one mil of ice cold ethanol to wash our crystals in the flask and aid us in transferring them to our Hirsch funnel. This 95% ethanol will also help us wash our crystals. We've now transferred all of our crystals from our 10 mil Erlenmeyer flask to our Hirsch funnel. Now we wanna be sure that we save our mother liquor from our filtration procedure for the optional exercise at the end of this experiment. We'll now air dry our crystals by continuing to pull a vacuum for an additional five minutes. And in the meantime, while our crystals are drying, we'll pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of our watch glass is 35.2509 grams. I've collected our purified and dried sulfanilamide crystals on our pre-weighed watch glass. And these are our crystals. We'll now determine the mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our crystals so we can determine our percent recovery. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our purified sulfanilamide crystals is 35.4892 grams. For our optional exercise, we need to transfer the mother liquor from our filtration to a pre-weighed 50 milliliter beaker. So we're first gonna determine the mass of our 50 milliliter beaker. The mass of our 50 milliliter beaker is 29.1873 grams. We've transferred our mother liquor to our pre-weighed 50 milliliter beaker. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lower it into a hot water bath to evaporate off the 95% ethanol. We'll also direct a stream of air into the beaker to speed up the evaporation. We've completely evaporated the 95% ethanol from our pre-weighed 50 milliliter beaker. So we'll now determine the mass of the solid inside of our beaker and the beaker. The mass of our pre-weighed beaker plus the solid is 29.2474 grams. The difference between the mass of our pre-weighed beaker and the mass of the beaker plus the solid is the mass of our impurity, which is foreknown. We will now determine the melting points for our impure sulfonilamide starting material, our purified sulfonilamide that we crystallized, and the impurity that we recovered from the mother liquor of our filtration. This concludes part A of this experiment.